Hello again. Welcome to our little shop. Bass players rejoice. I have a job that's a little bit out of the ordinary today. And since we don't get that many bass jobs to do in here, I'm going to say it's a very uh, uneven number. Probably about one bass to 20 guitars. Anyway, one of my high-end friend customers brought this very nice Music Man bass in. And we're going to get to do something that we don't get to do very often. We're doing a major upgrade on this bass. One of the things we're going to do on this is we're going to replace the neck with this graphite epoxy status base neck that's made in England. There are no screw holes anywhere, so we're going to draw all that. But, uh, he uses a lot of graphite epoxy necks on his bases, so he likes these. So we're going to put this neck on. And he's got a set of hip shot tuners that he's planning on putting on it. And a drop D tuner for the low E. So, let's get a move on. Well, okay, here we are. We're like 20 minutes into this already. And we found our first hassle. By the way, the neck fits very snugly in the neck pocket, so that's a wonderful thing. But here, our tuner holes aren't big enough. <laughs> that is as low as the bushing will go for the tuner. What they've done is they've actually only drilled or molded the holes so deep here for the tuners. So what we're going to have to do is get this little lip out here in the back. We're going to have to open this up. Now If I was drilling this as a fresh neck, I would do that with a bit on my drill press. But we don't have that option. I could use a step bit, but it's not thick enough. The cutting area is not thick enough. So we're going to have to do some hand work here, I think. Okay, well that made a bit of a mess. As it turned out, a Dremel sanding drum is almost exactly the size I needed. So I very carefully sanded the back lips out with the Dremel tool. And everything fits perfectly. And since we're working under COVID restrictions, I just happen to have a really nice N95 mask handy to keep me from breathing all this. So I'm going to put it back on and clean all this up and carry on. I've carefully laid out the center lines for the tuners here. Made sure that it was parallel to the outside of the headstock on both sides so that the tuning key is actually set straight like they're supposed to be. You know, we, don't, we don't want one setting this way or the, you know, we want it to look right. So anyway, we're ready to drill our holes. Well, I've got all my drilling finished. I've taken my frog tape off. If you notice here on these screw holes, they were drilled with the 5 64th drill bit with one of my high-tech depth stops on it. And then they've been countersunk so it doesn't chip or pull up any fibers. 
So we're going to start putting keys on. All right. There. The tuners are on. That took a little bit of extra effort. Okay. Let's move on. Well, I have all my bolt holes drilled for the neck mounting screws. I'll show you a little trick I used here. Typically, I like to use a drill press to drill these into the necks, but I have found in a few cases that it's actually a problem. So what I do is actually put the neck on the body, clamp it in place, make sure it's lined up properly. And then, uh, in this case, I'm using, I believe it's a 964th drill bit. I checked the size in the original neck to see what would fit through it. And then, I found in my brass tubing that you guys hear me talk about a lot, it's got a lot of uses. I've got this little spacer I've made. And what you do is you just drop it in. It fits tightly in the original screw hole. And the drill bit fits tightly into it. And you use it as a guide to do your drilling. That way you're not wobbling all over the place. You've got an exact straight shot to the neck that matches up to the angle if anything has changed or off from the body. So you get a perfect fit. Just thought I'd show you that. So see, if you're not watching a base video, you may miss a cool tip. Get this out of here so it fits really tight. So, there we go. Another little tip involved too. So, let's get this neck back off here, get these bolts countersunk, and get this neck on. So, we're all done now. I'm going to give you a look at this neck. Got a drop detuner. Everything's all good here. Flip it back over. We've got our new strings on, our intonation's been set, everything's been checked over again, double checked, and we are finished. So, I'm going to pack it up, let it set for about a week, check it every day until the owner comes back to get it. So hope you enjoyed that, it's something you don't see every day. Maybe you found a little tip there somewhere along the way. So till next time, play nice. I'll see you later.